Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to be discussing the upcoming match that being Rangers versus Alishkert in the Europa League playoff round. So much at stake for both of these sides. Obviously Rangers dropping down into the Europa League after an embarrassing defeat across two legs against uh, Malmo from Sweden and then Alishkert um, progressing in fact from the qualifying round three winning their last match to get to this point. Um, Alishkert looking to get to the Europa League group stages for the first time in their history and Rangers looking to get there for the fourth year on a bounce under Steven Gerrard. But before we get into the video and discuss this match, uh, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you're into your Scottish football content. Okay guys, let's get into the video and let's discuss this upcoming match. Um, let's talk about the home side first, that being of course Rangers. And on Friday, Rangers um, ended their free game losing streak and managed to get a win and in an impressive fashion after beating Dunfermline 5-0 to progress into the League Cup quarter-final. Um, as I touched upon in the intro, it had been a bad 7-10 to 10 days for Rangers, um, obviously going out of the Champions League, losing twice to Malmo and and um, or in between that game, losing um, a domestic match against Dundee United, which was um, pretty poor from Rangers considering they went unbeaten last year and have been so impressive in qualifiers in years gone by under Steven Gerrard. However, it is what it is, and now Rangers will feast their eyes towards the Europa League group stages, um, as it's very, very good for finances. It doesn't pay as much as the Champions League, however, it does pay a hell of a lot more than the Scottish domestic competitions, and not just for finances. Look, Rangers will want to be competing um, with big sides in Europe, and it's great for attracting new players into the club as well. Standing in Rangers' way for a place in the Europa League group stage is, of course, Alice Gert. And look, Rangers fans before uh, this draw was made, they probably had never ever heard of this team. Don't worry guys, I've got you covered. I'm going to give you all the information you need to know on Alishka before this big game. Alishka were founded in 1990, however collapsed in 2000 and refounded back in 2011 and play in the Armenian Premier League. Since their refounding in 2011, they have won four Armenian Premier League titles with the last one coming from last season. Alishka do have a bit of history with Scotland though, um, and have played Celtic before. Celtic played them all the way back in 2018 in the Champions League qualifying round one, where Celtic were very impressive, managing to win the first leg 3-0 and the second leg 3-0, and didn't really get out of first gear. However, this was all a few years ago, and you're probably wondering what they're like now. Um, as I said, they did win the league last year, which granted them access into the Champions League qualifiers, uh, which is where they started this European run all the way back in July. In the qualifying round one, they came up against Kunis Key and managed to defeat them. In the qualifying round two, they did lose to Sheriff Trilaspor from Moldova and dropped into the Europa League qualifying round three. This is where they played Kazakhstan side Arat and managed to uh, beat them over two legs. Uh, however, it did take them to extra time and Arat were down to 10 men in that second leg. Um, but nonetheless, they still got there. Domestically this season, I said they won the league last year. This year so far, um, they have lost their two opening games. So they've played two games in the league and ended up losing both of them. So currently sit ninth in the league, which is bad um, for any sort of champions. So really, domestically, they are in pretty bad form and have been beat by smaller sides than Rangers in these uh, in these qualifiers. But it's important now that Rangers um, take this opportunity and don't take their foot off the gas. Take the momentum from that Dunfermline game and go into this match. And first and most importantly, get into the Europa League group stages. Uh, but secondly, get back into form and find Rangers winning rhythm again. Um, I touched on upon how Rangers were very impressive from Dunfermline and I think um, Steven Gerrard should um, be going into this match with a similar starting 11. As I said, Borna Barisic hasn't been good enough for me um, uh, since the start of the season. The same with Tavernier and same with Goldson in fact. But Bassi has looked really, really impressive for Rangers and Nathan Patterson has as well on either side. And I think they should go with the informed side going into this one. As I said, Rangers have a great opportunity at getting to the group stage. Usually at this stage, over the last couple of years, Rangers will be playing a European group stage regular. Last year it was Galatasaray. The year before that it was Legia Warsaw. 
Alishgut are a sort of team that you'll play at the start of your European qualifying journey, i.e. like your Aussie Ajax and stuff like that. So they do need to grasp this and go into this match and first and foremost win and qualify, but really find form and find this starting 11 who's going to go into these league games. Um, it's important that Rangers do win this match um, at Ibrox. The first leg is at Ibrox, of course, and they need to go there and score a lot of goals. My point being because the second leg um, is in Armenia. If those of you that don't know where Armenia is, it's about a 5,000 mile round trip um, to get there and back on a Thursday night. Um, and guess what game follows after that on the Sunday? Yes, the old firm. So it's in Rangers' best interest to go into this match and score as many goals as possible and really kill off the tie um, so that maybe they could send, I don't know, a second string team out to Armenia and play the rest. So there you go. From this preview so far, you already know that Rangers are massive, massive favourites going into this one. And I've not really talked about Alish Gert and what they can do. Um, because the only reason why I don't feel Rangers can win this game, because I feel Rangers are going to be dominant throughout the whole match, the only way Rangers could end up losing this tie is if they're not clinical enough. I don't take the chances. They're going to be dominant on the ball at Ibrox and away from the home. They're going to have all of the ball. And we've seen it in games domestically with Rangers where um, they could score early on. But don't put teams to the sword and go after more and more goals. And then the later the game goes on, invite their own pressure and a uh, team can nick an equaliser. We've seen it domestically before. And Rangers can't afford that to happen um, in either or tie. But I don't see that happening at all. I think Rangers are going to be pretty comfortable going into this one. Which leads me now to my score prediction, guys. Uh, I think Rangers will be clinical. And after that game against Dunfermline, they're going to carry that fine firing form into this match and uh, Gerard's going to keep that same team that beat Dunfermline going into this one, uh, the informed players and I'm going to go for a 5-0 Rangers win at Ibrox on Thursday. Guys, uh, that is the preview. I'm interested to know what your score predictions are down there below in the comment section. I'm really really interested. Please do comment below um, and uh, tune in for the game on our live stream on Thursday where we'll be live for the match um, and I do a live commentary um, which is always good fun please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, i will see you all in the next video take care peace